Hi, a pleasant good morning to everyone. This is Ted here once again. I'd like to make a short video which some people may find useful. Now, what I did was change this radio which comes standard 2.4 gigahertz into a system that could use both 72 and 2.4 gigahertz. As some people may already know, you can just put a JR module into the back of this transmitter. It doesn't work because one of the pins which are grounded on this radio, there are two pins grounded on this radio and one need to be carrying 6 volts for it to work with the JR module. So I'll open up the transmitter and show you all what I did to get it to work and also what I did to the module itself to get it to work with this mod. So I'll be back. So now the Turnigy 9X radio is open. You can see that I obvious I did some obvious mods to it. I did the uh, mod to allow me to flash the radio. I ch changed it from the standard software to the ER9X software. And I also add, added a backlight to the radio. Um, but the one we're more concerned with right now is changing the pins on the module so that it will work with the um, the JR the JR system. So as you can see here, what I did to get the six volts on this pen was to use a standard Ubic. As you can see, this is the Turnigy Ubic. This Ubic could give you, I think, it ranges from five volts to six volts, but it comes standard, I believe, on with the jumper pin to give you 5 volts. So what you need to do is to move this jumper pin from the far right hand side, if it's oriented like this, across so that this one pin here is exposed. And that should give you the 6 volts that's required. Now, on the output side of this Ubic, you need to connect these two wires to the board at the back of the Turnigy 9S. Um, I hope this could focus in there. Okay, it does. Okay, now the first pin on the standard Turnigy 9S, let me get something like a point. This first pin here is your PPM pin. The second pin is ground. The third pin, I believe, is for operating system, VCC and this pin right here is ground again and this pin is for your antenna now what you need to do is this second pin which is grounded you have to re release it from from the board and that means you cut it away from the rest of the board so you cross so you need to cut around this pin to release it. Now with the Turnigy 9S, although you cut around this pin, it's still connected. You have to turn it, or uh, what is best to do is to remove this board, take it out, flip it over, and on the other side you'll see two pins still connected. Let me see if I can show you that from the back of here. Okay. Let it focus. Okay, when you flip it back over, you would see that it's still connected. If you if you try to do a a continuity test, although you strip, although you rem you remove the connection around the number two pin, you will find that it's still connected, and that's because it's connected on the opposite side. So you have to remove remove the connection on both sides of the board. Oh, camera doesn't focus that well. Okay. Now, on the output side of this Ubic, you're going to connect, which you have obviously transferred, um, change the jumper as I said, to 6 volts, so we give a 6 volt output. You put the red wire onto pin number 2, which you have released from the board, and you put the black wire on the fourth pin. Okay, that's on the output side. Now, on 
what you're going to be using to power the U-bit is that you let me see if I can raise this there's a pen down here as you can see this pen right here let me count one two three four five six seven the seventh pen from the left of the back of this this border right here you connect the red pin the red wire to the seventh pin from the right okay this will allow you when you switch on your module that the U-bit will receive power okay and as you see this pin traces all the way up to the third pin right here okay so now the ground wire on the input side of the UVIT goes onto the antenna. Connect that onto your antenna. If you connect it onto the ground of the module itself, it will not work. <laughs> Trust me. Now the standard Turnigy 9S doesn't come with this portion right here, this 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 um antenna connection. This little metal piece that you see right here. So I, what I had to do was to get one from an old transmitter from a friend of mine and I solder it onto the board. I guess you can make your own little do-it-yourself piece and solder onto the board so that the antenna could be connected. The antenna I'm using is from the standard, is from the an original JR radio. So that's all you need to do to get the 6 volts onto this pin which will allow you to use a JR module. Now let me pause and show you how I modded the module at the back of the Turning J9S so I could also use um, this after I made the, the mod to the Turning J9S so you could use the JR modules. I'll be back. Okay, one obvious mod you see you can see straight off is that I removed the antenna that's normally attached to the top of the Eternity 9X and I've connected it to the back of the module. All I did was release the antenna, open up the module, remove the um the coaxial cable at the back, um, did the necessary disassembly so I could remove liberate the um antenna at the top and I've done a simple job in just drilling a hole, cutting it out to size and put, and basically hot gluing it on the back so I, so you can see it, it still swivels and I get the movement I need okay so I'll open it up now and I'll show you the mod I did so it could work with the mod to the GR now you can see that I did use, did use some hot glue to get everything to stay as I was putting back in the antenna at the back. Now I have to show you what I did to the module to get it to work. Now it's simple. All you have to do is liberate, there's one pin you have to really liberate here and that is obviously the um, the six volt pin because originally the pin that you were sending the six you was you are now sending the six volts to was grounded so all you have to do to mod this module so you could work with the same turnage nine x that you just modded so you could use the JR module is to liberate that same pin and as you can see here. I don't know if you can see, does it focus? Yeah, I think it does. As you can see here, I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can. As you can see here, this pin right here, the second pin from the top of these these pins right here that connect at the back of the module, you just liberate this pin. So you go around the pin and just trace it off so it's not connected to the board anymore. And that is basically all you have to do. Don't mind this connection here that I did. This was originally a uh, mod I did so that I could remove the, I wouldn't have to remove the transmitter if I plug in the trainer port at the back of the transmitter but now that I have it connected this way 
with the antenna the back of the module doesn't need it anymore so I just placed the jumper from the back of I just placed the jumper so back across the wires to reconnect this trace right here so that's basically what we do so I hope that works for you all it should work once you did exactly as I said and you should be able to use both your JR and your Turner J9X modules and transmitters to fly. So thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. Hope you enjoy your flying experience. Okay, bye.